Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to Thursday, November the 3rd. It was 28 degrees and got up this morning. It's 31 now. So, uh, yeah, it could could be kind of slippery in spots on the way to work. <laughs> Just getting off this hill can be kind of tricky. Old Kai Kai, she don't even care. She's wet. Looks like she still wet from rain or whatever. I can't imagine anything wet coming out of the sky, but you never know. I don't think it's rained or did anything. If it rained, it'd probably snow. I'm already seeing posts from people with snow where they're at. Pretty crazy. Anyway, beautiful, feels good. Even though it's 31 degrees, that now feels very comfortable. So uh, welcome to the day. Kind of crazy this morning. Another employee stole our spot. I'm telling you, you know, paint my name on that thing. I'm facing the wrong direction. Everything feels all strange. I know, he's all messed up now, yeah. guys. Oh my creature of habit. Yes, you are. Well, Mama, yes, sir. let's uh, let's bust out a Thursday. Alrighty, can't believe it's Thursday, Thursday already. Yeah, two more days. It's very rare to be a day behind. Yeah, yeah, Halloween got y'all messed up. Yep, yeah. but anyway, let's bust her out. All right, all right, love you. See you, bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. So, after um, my rather cool ride yesterday with those um vended gloves um i just it's a weird thing i come walking up there kelly goes he goes you got the liner 2.0s don't you don't you the climb gloves the wind stoppers are windproof i go yeah she goes we have the 3.0s that just showed up today so she got herself a set and i said you know what i'd like a set of those for work they're inner liners but they're not they're not waterproof, but they're uh, they're windproof, and um, I don't like them to be too hot. But the 3.0 is supposed to be warmer. I think it has more. I don't know. However, the technology of this Gore-Tex and all this stuff they got, but they're not waterproof. It even says on the card it says when performance is a priority and waterproofness isn't. So yeah, definitely not waterproof. Although. With my 2.0s, I've gotten caught in sprinkles, and um, it bounces off of them pretty good. You know, you wouldn't sustain any kind of rain riding with them. But kind of the, the cool thing about them is they completely, I mean, there's no wind. It's like wearing a bag on your hand. But they breathe. They air out. So the air comes out, you know, the heat from your hands or whatever. But uh, no air gets in. But they're supposed to be an inner liner. But uh, anyway, love these things. They're not pretty, because they're not supposed to be on the outside, but I don't care. Now look at that. Puts it in neutral. So you'll notice that uh, there's nothing fancy about these things, just like this. These are inner liners. They're not meant to be wore on the outside. But, as usual, I don't follow the rules. Not them kind of rules, anyway. <laughs> got this Indian vest on and this liner it uh it's not gonna be cold they dropped it off this morning oh dude the temperature I like to at least have them geez when they drop this thing off of course it is 42 degrees out here <laughs> it probably doesn't take much for anything to cool off out here yeah we'll take a I'm just going to drive it downstairs to figure it's still hot. Look at all them Can-Ams we have. Yeah, buddy. It's nice being a preferred dealer on the BRP side. You get, you get special treatment. <laughs> Plus our scores, you know, the... This is about to see the sky. These things are magical. Just immediately, you're just going, what? Just something special and different about them. But anyway, you know, we, uh, yeah, you get customer surveys, both on service, warranty repairs, um, your experience purchasing the bike, and whatnot. We, we score really. That's why we're the dealer of the year every year I don't think we've missed one since we became a, a spider 
dealer. But in, in all fairness, we started out as a spider dealer at our Bend, Oregon Pro Caliber store. We didn't start as an official dealer here until 2010. Well, actually it was in Longview, but I need to go in there and say hey to that guy. <laughs> I think I say that every time I see him. So the Longview Vancouver stuff, the Longview store became a spider dealer in 2010. I went to school, was that late 2010, early 2011, I don't remember. And um, yeah, it was still, I like these things to be, I mean it doesn't have to be at full operate, it's not like I'm checking oil, I just want it to be warm and everything suspended. When I pull them plugs, I want everything coming out in a big rush. I love the guys that, you know, well my bike's sitting here so they dump their oil in their garage on a cold engine. Well, I do okay because I let it sit overnight or maybe even a couple days. You're missing the point. It settles in all the little crevices everywhere. All those little imperfections. And the heavier they are, the more likely they are to fall and settle. There's not like this perfect ramp that bleeds everything. And ideally, you want it to be in that running state you know how you've got like a couple of minutes to check your oil level so all the oils are where they belong um, you get the biggest flush that just takes everything out all in one shot the danger of that when you're doing it do you realize how far over the white line you are we'll do something different today mix it up although that's the prettiest one of the prettiest areas ah we're getting up to normal temps already but you gotta remember that's coolant temp engine temperature coolant temperature two totally different things people get that confused i mean after a while everything balances out and it's all happy but I thought that real truck was going to come in my lane for a second there. Oh, he's got the grip heaters on. That's got to stop. I haven't taken you guys this direction in a long time. I don't think they had that, that fence up. They had those posts up like they were going to put a fence up. <laughs> they decided to do something totally different, didn't they? Yeah, we'll get you back in some familiar areas here. Man, let's see the skies, man. I, I'm assuming they go right down the same assembly line, but when you jump on one, it does not feel like that. It's like there's a special cream of the crop building somewhere where the sea of skies are put together. You pay extra for it, and you definitely definitely get your money's worth it's just something so well built feeling about it I've written this thing before this is, this is a runner he broke her in nice well actually well I won't get into that I'll steer you guys down down a rabbit hole I don't want to well, Sean said, yeah, there's a way you break them in that they live forever and turn into something good to eat. Hmm. I don't know how I got lucky. I thought it was supposed to rain most of the day today. We took the Acura because it takes... Even though the heater's blasting, it's, it's like the heater can't get all the internal parts of the CRV warm. I swear it's like halfway to work before you finally are comfortably warm. Well, you're cheating with Acura. You're pulling out of a 62 degree garage, so you're already at an advantage. But when it sits out there all day, I'm not even across the intersection there and you're comfortable. The air just seems to come from everywhere. The old CRV, she's very old school. Oh, that tree was really cool looking at one point. 
it's a bummer when the leaves end up all you know kind of squishied and you know they don't, they don't even have any color in them anymore they just turn brown but it happens it's a cycle of life what you think there see the sky you happy you seem very very happy Sure is enjoyable to ride. Floorboards just go everywhere. No matter where you want your feet, you got a place for them. But one of the things I love too is I like to goof around and look over bridges and stuff. And you can stand up on these things just like they're a dual sport or an adventure bike. It's fantastic. I would say if your butt gets tired, you can stand up and give it a break, but does your butt ever get tired on a, especially a seat of sky? Because the seat of skies have their own seats. You, well, you can buy the seats, mm -hmm. but it's, it's not, it's not an option. They have comfort seats, but it's not the same thing. thing just never seems to age it has that same old look to it and just doesn't change it's a beautiful day in the oh and really I see it now but I didn't realize there's a car so close to in front of that truck all right see sky we got y'all nice and warmed up you'll be a happy camper but what I was going to say, when it's super hot, the oil comes out really, really fast, and it can catch the pans down there. And, um, yeah, you can end up making a mess that takes you quite, quite a while to clean up. So you got to make sure that the spider is at a certain level. You know, look along that frame, make sure it's level. If the rear suspension is too high, or especially too low, no, it's the too high is the worst on um, RTs. And this has the same pan under there as the old one did under the drain, the engine side. Well, you know, it's a big hole, but it'll catch the edge. And the edge is lipped up. You catch that edge and it runs all up underneath the, oh, just, a, there's no way to get them off, but to crawl underneath there and pull all them pans out and uh, clean it all up by hand. So, you gotta be careful doing them super, super hot. But that's the best way you should, you should do it. But. The other careful thing is, is you can literally burn the holy heck out of yourself. These gloves are awesome. Very soft, comfortable, but like I say, they're not meant to be a looker. They're functional. They're, they're a liner. An inner liner. So are these. That's why they always look like they're inside out. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. Now this is a full sea to sky takedown. I've worked on I don't know thousands of spiders i have never seen a spider so full of road grime i had to take the dust mop out there three times because there was so much stuff i had to knock off my bench and off my floor that i was i was slipping in it and all the gravel and everything i don't see any harm to anything and kudos i i, I know this couple they're awesome people but dang, where do y'all take these things? But uh, yeah, she's been ridden. She's had 30,000 miles, which almost appears to be completely off-road. <laughs> no harm, no foul that I can see. I haven't closely inspected the belt, but I mean, every panel that I took off, just piles of gravel and everything pulled out and I have to blow it off, clean my bench, you know, and I get enough that it, when, as I'm walking around, I'm literally slipping like I'm walking on marbles. And uh, get the old dust mop thing out and pile it up in the corner. But, uh, yeah, everything's so far so good. Um, yeah, this, getting to them spark plugs. Uh, I've never done one of these. And the craziest thing, you look it up in the manual, it tells you remove upper console, you know, so you can get to the air box and then the baffle that's on the other side just looks like another air box but um anyway so you look in the manual 
tells you to remove the mirrors, the screen, and this panel. And then from there, it says, reassemble it in the reverse order. What about the console? I got to get this whole console off. All that has to come up and out. I have to have that off to do the service. <laughs> to get to the spark plugs. So, yeah. So I asked, talked to my kid. Did, did he do ever do one? Nope. Talked to the other spider tech upstairs. Nope, never done one. Not on one of these. So, yeah. First time for everything. So, a little weird. I may end up taking that off anyway. Because the... The cable for the uh, trunk release appears to be going through it at some point. I was looking around with a flashlight. Yeah, what a project. Holy moly. But until you do one, you're not going to know. Especially when the manual tells you nothing. Man. So I looked up, you know, 2022 manual, the most current one. That they show and there's no difference than the 2020 or the 21 the manuals are all the same and they are it it is you just need to have some technical prowess i guess to just sort it out because they're not going to tell you that just does not tell you so i'm figuring it out as i go anyway i'll just give you guys a quick little update man a full takedown that's what it feels like. I got to take the motor out next. <laughs> I just got to get to the top of the motor so I can pull the coil sticks out and replace the spark plugs. That's pretty nuts. You know, the, the funny thing is I, I, can, I can almost see these two just big old smile on their faces. They both ride RTs. She's got a 15 or 16 RTS. This is a 21 seat of sky. Yeah, at least... You gotta say this, they're out there having fun. And that what the, the whole point of, of this thing is? Going out there and enjoying life. Take every second of it, because it don't last forever. Good way to do it on a spider, especially a sea to sky. Well, hello there, YouTube. We may get wind blasted here a bit. There's a crazy rainstorm coming tomorrow. Yeah like four inches of rain that that may depending on where you live that may not sound like much we're lucky to get three inches uh, three inches like in a month is actually quite a bit yeah it just drizzles here it doesn't pour down rain although here lately it's definitely poured down rain mm -hmm. but crazy high winds and it's gonna it's gonna be a barn burner tomorrow it's not gonna be fun yeah crazy and then you know having to deal with that freeway and I mean, we've been stuck four and five hours on back roads just trying to get home. Yeah. Keep your gas tank full at all times. Yes. You, you never know when holy heck's going to hit you. Yep. Snowstorms, rainstorms, accidents. You just never know. It's crazy. Anyway, it's, I think it's a little less than 40 out here now. It's not quite as cold as it was yesterday. Probably because of the rain coming, but... I think we're going to bounce to that. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Friday or Saturday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.